What's up everybody? So here's our situation. We have a valve in here. Okay, we got about six more zones, um, you know, going down this way, but this valve is slipping. And what that means is every time it's on, water's coming through, but it's not shutting off. So every time I switch zones, the other zone comes on, but this one still stays on. So my guess is it's the solenoid. So I'm gonna show you a quick test on how to check if the solenoid is working or not before you take this all this whole valve out and replace it. So let me show you. That. All right, so here's the solenoid that we took out, okay? Took it all out. So the trick is, let's bring this into the thing. So here's the solenoid that we took out. So I'm not sure if the solenoid is making the valve stick or if the diaphragm well, before we dig into it and take everything apart, first thing I want to do is check the solenoid. So what you do is you take a 9-volt battery, okay? It doesn't matter which side, what wire you use. Put one in the positive and one in the negative. Now, when I hit these, if it's working, you're going to hear a clicking noise. Can you hear that? So that means that solenoid is good. So now we got to move on to the next step in troubleshooting. But hear that noise? That's how you check if the solenoid is bad. Okay, it said before you go and buy another one or dig it out or someone tells you to replace the valve, it's bad. Always check this. All right, just like that. All right, so since the solenoid was good, I took out the diaphragm, okay? And we had the old one here. It looks like it was a little bit beat up right in there. So and it, it's really like just a little flimsy should be a little bit firm so what I did was I switched it had a different one I put this in checked it turned it on and it stopped the bleeding so now we know that the valve is good we could just change this diaphragm and um, save a lot of work here so now I don't have to dig this inch and a half valve up good news